Need new pants and a pinch? Let's whip up a quick and stylish pair in a snap. So I found the easiest pattern to make a pair of pants. No side seams. I took out the dart that was on the side seams, put some elastic around it. Flowy pants. So easy. This is so easy. I want to see how fast I can make these. I have this fabric I've had for years. I made a top out of it, but I love it. It's just a, it's kind of a Georgette. Thin, it's a Georgette. You can kind of crepe be weave in there. Not too see-through, so that's good. And just soft and drapey. I pre-washed it. I don't think it's cotton, but it could have some rayon in it, so I pre-washed it. It's just this beautiful stripe. I was gonna get rid of it, and then I thought, I'm gonna make some pants out of this. I think that would be really comfortable and pretty to wear. So this is what the pattern looks like. Just uh, no side seam here. I actually, this time I, the pattern just fits me. It's like wearing ease in there and all, and it just like fits a little looser. So I uh, cut it at the side seam and added about an inch and a half and then tapered it down into nothing right here so it didn't the leg didn't get too full but this is the pattern there's no side seam you cut it like that i love pants like these they're just and i love because there's no side seams although down thing is you can't have pockets so that's no fun but there's a dart in here at least there was and you just you would just put a dart there and then there was a i believe in the pattern it might be a waistband i don't or i'm not sure has a waist here but I just did that way and then put my fold over elastic which is just like three quarters of an inch and just stretch it and it just kind of barely grips but wow this is so nice they're fuller pants too so uh, you can all you the only control you have to taper that is to take the inside leg in and um so there's be fuller so what I like to do with a lot of pant patterns is do a half muslin of it so I did a muslin of like the right leg right here so i got the side seam here and then i just tried it on and kind of put this in my center and that my center just got an idea if these are going to fit pant patterns used to fit me really well um, i've gained weight and um, but my body's still kind of even so i've always had luck with pant patterns um, if you haven't then you probably have to you know, really do a full muslin and get the whole fit right before you go cutting fabric out. It's always a good idea, right? Uh, so this one has the dart here and it would just dart like right there on the side seam and there's no side seam right there. And then it shaves in. But what I've done is I open the dart because I need more on my waist because my waist is as wide as my hips, I guess. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of shave that off and then put roll over elastic on it. So this I tried on and it just fits me perfectly like the wearing ease and everything but i want these pants to have a little more room in them so i added a little bit into the side seam here and what i did was i added it here and then slashed and spread it and stopped it here so at this point it's only about half an inch and then this one's like three quarters and then here's an inch and then it goes up here I just kind of opened it up a little bit because that's where I'm fuller and I didn't want the leg to go even bigger. So that's my little adjustment on the pattern. I'm just gonna lay this out and you cut um, cut two of these because you have two legs. <laughs> that always helps. Um, and I'm just gonna layer them. You cut the fabric open and I'll put selvage to selvage and then get that grain line on there and um, cut this out. And then they're so easy to sew. I'm gonna get started. So now I'm gonna take these two pieces. I have the right sides out. I can tell by the way the selvages are going here too. And then this has a coating, which is really nice. So actually that's the right sides in, right? Okay, oh boy. Yes, right sides together. So I'll be putting like a X on here on the right sides before I take the pattern off so that I keep that together. <laughs> okay, get this here this all laid out then I have to anchor the selvage onto one of my lines and the two cross grains right here without stretching the fabric so just kind of let it lay naturally and get this all lined up so I get the grain lines all perfect I like to use an L square to kind of 
the fabric layers to work together. Move it all out. That way. There we go. Oh boy. I think it takes longer to cut than it does to make these. Okay, ready to lay the pattern out. Just lined up here. This, this is my grain line here. I'm gonna line this up on one of these lines here and get that grain line right there. Okay, this is just fitting that and anchor in. All right, got it all pinned and I'm ready to cut. Just gonna paint these. There. There we go. All right, that's done. Now I need to clip the notches. So the double notches mean the back. And then right here is the single notch, right there. And I don't really need to know where the side seam is, but one thing I need to know when doing this is the right side. And because you sew the right, the inseams first, I'm gonna put an R right here. So I know that it's right sides together in case I get off there. Also, how I know the back is I'm going to put a little clip on the back hem right here because sometimes when I'm working on them, I have to like figure out where the back is if I'm pressing the seam allowance. So I put like always in pants, put like a little double notch right here. And that's all I need to do. So just take the pins out and then I'm on to sewing it. All right, pattern off. The first thing I got to do is to do the right sides together. Open these up right sides together at the inner leg seam. Right here. That's it. Normally I would do a French seam on here, which would enclose that whole seam, but then I don't, then I'm not able to taper them at all. So I think I'm just gonna do a regular seam. So now I just need to sew this right sides together. I put a little R, double check, yep, my R. <laughs> the print like this, you don't know what the right and the wrong side is. Now do a 5 8 inch inseam right here. Match up my raw edges. This is gonna make me dizzy. And that is my first seam. Very simple. Has a little bit of a gap in here. Sometimes there's an ease. A lot of times you'll see it. It'll say it on here somewhere. Seam. Oh, seam says one inch. Glad I looked. There's a one inch seam right here. I don't remember that. That's interesting. Um, I'm gonna do five eighths here and then go into uh, one inch. And actually, I think I'm also gonna taper this in. A little bit while I'm going. It didn't say E stitch on there, so I know that this should fit perfectly. There's also there's usually notches here too, um, telling you where to match these up. But I've made so many pairs of pants. Okay, I remember this is the one pant pattern where the notch didn't make any sense. I have these two lines matching up just because that was like a cutting line, and then the seam from up here matches, but these notches do not match. I do not know why, um, but what I do is just so that I'm gonna ignore that because I don't know why those notches, why they're not there. <laughs> what I should do for the future, well, I don't usually use the inside notches either, because um, I'm gonna put draw this with a notch right here and put a question mark because I'll probably see that again in my future sewing. Because, um, yeah, I just don't know why. I'm gonna have to ask the pant pattern people on this one. <laughs> Let's see. Let's look at the directions. What a concept. 
Okay. Let's see. This says, um, I'll make the darts so that there's those darts. That's pretty simple. Little darts right there. And then flip it over and then it says, close the zipper. Is there a zipper in here? Oh, there's a zipper. <laughs> I didn't put a zipper in here because uh, I just pull them on and make them a little bit bigger. <laughs> I've made these for a while, but there is a zipper in the center back. So the zipper. And then there is the crotch seam first, right there. You put the one leg inside the other. And then prepare the seam for the, put an invisible zipper in it, I believe, unzip. Put the zipper so you just prepare that part there. That's if you really need, if you need that dart, you need to put a zipper in it because it gets too small. And then the inseams right here. So that's why I'm doing the inseams first, right there. It says nothing about that notch not matching. Pin front to back, inside legs, right sides together, matching notches. Huh? Stitch, press seam allowance open, finish seam allowances. Okay, and then our next one is to put it in. So if your waist is smaller and you need to use the dart, you gotta put the zipper in. That takes a little more time, right? So I'm not gonna be able to make it as fast as I'll be able to make it. Okay, so back to where I was. Inside leg seams, right there, five eighths. It says one inch, I'm gonna do five eighths and I'm gonna taper down, but I gotta make sure I do them on both sides the same way. And I'm just gonna do that anyway because I wanted I was thinking about getting this leg so it's not as full. So I might even go one and a half. So what I do, I probably should do this with pins on it, but and boy, this is gonna be hard to see because it's right on the white. So if I do one and a half here, so they did a one inch seam. And then I'm gonna do five eighths because I believe I needed that up here. I think. And I can always take it in, but I think I made these before and I didn't use, I don't remember doing a one inch seam. So then I start here. And then I gotta taper, gotta blend this line into that line there. So I'm just gonna go a little bit out. It's probably five eighths and then to a three quarters. And then here, let's see, three quarters. I'm pretty good with eyeballing measurements. That's why I don't really use the ruler much. Okay, so this is a from one inch, from the one and a half, and I blend it here like that. So that is my seam I'm going to follow. Okay, so this starts at five eighths up here, raw edges even, and then I move it down, I just taper down, or taper in, and then it goes into about three quarters right here, and then three quarters, seven eighths, one inch to one and a half. So I just do a nice blend with the ruler. So this line right here will be the one I sew on. And now to get the exact on the other side, I have to pin that right here. I'm going to start five eighths. Make sure I have my little R there that this is right sides together. I'm just going to go ahead and pin these kind of close to the, make sure my raw edges are even right there. Okay. Okay, so I have it pinned here. So what I'm going to do now is put this on here and then feel for that right there. So I think I'm going to use the invisible marker. And I'm gonna feel this right here because it's right on the white. There's that. Feel for the pin bar right here. There's that. And then I'll get these exact. And this one's right here. That. This one's right here. You can kind of see it. I hope this doesn't dissolve fast. This one's here. Make sure these are all even. This bar is here. Okay, then five eighths. I think I will give myself a line to follow. Because when I'm sewing with a crazy print like this, it can get a little dizzy. Do that. There. 
there and down there. I can guess see this is one and a half. Yes. Okay, so there's my marks there. I'll put some pins. Keep me on track. Take this pin off, put that one there. Take this one off, put that one there. <laughs> that one off there. Okay. Two legs, right sides together, ready to sew. Okay, now to press the seams open, get a nice flat seam. Let it cool under a pressing block or a ham. The next directions are one of the funnest. <laughs> For crotch seam, turn one leg right side out, slip inside the remaining garment leg to the other, stitch center front seam connecting with center back. So basically you stitch the whole crotch seam. If you have the zipper in there, then you stitch it from here and then up to the front. So what that is, is one, is a, one leg is right side out. Let's see, this one's the wrong side. We'll do one leg is right side out and one leg is inside out that's where this seam is here and i'm going to open this up here i'm going to put the so i'm going to find this is the inseam here i'm going to put that into here like that and then now i have my crotch seams are right sides together right here like that and I match those up. Let's put a pin there. And then this should be the back. That's where my double notches are and my double notches are. So that's the two back seams, the crotch, um, back crotch seams. Put a pin on that part there. Pin these layers here. They should all match. Not one longer than the other. Okay. And then this one is the front. So then we do the front top up here. And then I had the front had a single notch there. I think I have it right there. Yeah, that matches up really well. And then the crotch seam here, make sure that doesn't slip. You want it raw edges together. And if there's a zipper, you would have the zipper here. So then you would sew it and stop where you start at the zipper right there. So now this seam gets sewn five eighths around. Um, I didn't see any difference in that one. It just said it did not, unless it's on the pattern, but I'm doing mine five eighths because mine's just elastic. All right, this crotch seam's all sewn together. Now I just have to turn it right side out. One leg comes out the other one and then have a pair of pants. The stripe, oh my gosh, the stripes kind of worked out here. <laughs> Look at that. That's good. So now I'm going to go and press this crotch seam all to one side, follow that around there, and then I can add the elastic. Put on the one inch fold over elastic, so simple to use. I put this around my waist and kind of stretched it, found the center back, then I've marked the center front, and then the side seams, so it's all in quarters. So I'll sew this, and then I'll get this, make sure I find my center back, then I'll just be folding it over, stretching as I sew, like that, and zigzagging it, and then the elastic's on. If you need a longer tutorial on this fold-over elastic, I will add a card to the frame here on how to use this fold-over elastic. All right, have the elastic on. That was easy. 
There's my pants. Now what I'm going to do is try these on, but before I do, I'm going to just fold this up two inches and pin it first. Not press it, just pin it around all the way around so I can see how those fit. And then I can kind of gauge do I need it up, up a half, down a half, or, you know, it's perfect. That's what I'm shooting for. Perfect. <laughs> two inches up. Just on one leg. See how that goes. I could do one leg two inches and one leg one inch. See how that works. Just yeah. tried these on, turns out two inches is not enough. I rolled it up another half inch. It looks like it's close to three inches. It's two and a half to three inches. And wow, they're really cute. I can't wait. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark this on the right side of the pant, cut off whatever's over two inches, and then that, that makes it a nice heavy hem. And then I'll do my little machine stitch hem. It looks like it's about three inches on the average everywhere. So I'm just going to take all these pins out and mark on the right side of the pants. So to start, I'm just going to find my center seam here. I like to kind of have it in half. And I'll pin it on the two raw edges right here, right on one of these lines. These are one inch squares. I just need to, don't even need to use the ruler on this. I just use the board. Get this pinned right here. Nice and flat right there. Take my invisible ruler, clear ruler. I got one, two, three lines right there. And then the other side, one, two, three. Make sure everything's straight. This nothing's folding back there. Hold that real tight. Make my marks right here, like that. And then I'll switch this to the other side, right there. Pin it again. And, and then I'm going to cut off one inch. I'm just going to use this two inch ruler, make a mark here, because I like to just have a maximum of two inches uh, width on these fold over hems because otherwise it gets to be too much fabric underneath. So with these raw edges even, I'm gonna just hold this down and I'll pink this off so less fraying in the inside of the hem once it's stitched. Make sure I'm just cutting off one inch like that. There we go. Now I take this over to the iron and press, this is the right side of the fabric, press right on that crease, and then get a nice sharp crease, then I tuck it under half and half, and I'll end up with sharp creases that look like that, and I'll be stitching close to the edge. So I have a whole video on how to machine hem a skirt, and it's also the same uh, for a pant like this. Simple way to get a nice sharp professional looking hem. All right, have my hem ready to stitch. Have this all folded up half and half right there. Now I just need to stitch at the edge right there. I think I'm going to go do a little decorative stitch. That'd be kind of fun. All right, have it all hemmed. I did a little swiggle hem on there. A little cool little decorative pattern. I'm also going to put a little tiny label in the center back because when I use this fold over elastic all I have is that little seam right there so I'm just gonna put a little stitch right there so I know where my center back is be a little easier to find so I'll stitch that right there try it on see how these look and pull your damn pants up just finished my pants I love these pants fast pants in a pinch probably only took me about an hour to make Love the drape on these, so comfortable. No side seams, just the center crutch, fold over elastic, quick hem. Oh, talk about pants in a pinch. This had to be the fastest pants I've ever made. So get yourself the butter egg pattern. I just looked, they are still in stock at Joann's. You know, sometimes years later, I've had these for, I've had this pattern about a year or two, and, uh, yeah, 
No side dart, no side seam, eliminates one whole step. Just fold over elastic, so quick and easy. Love these pants. I would say I was um, a kind of fly by the seat of my pants gal, you know. Make a pair, takes a couple hours. An hour to cut it <laughs> and an hour to sew it. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and we only wear jeans or track pants on Fridays.